Hi, Colin Lay here with Lay Roots, and I want to talk to you about owning rental property in your own name. Uh, so I get a lot of questions about whether that's a good idea or not, and I tell people no. Um, it is not a good idea to own rental property in your name, and the reason is is that it is a what you call a hot asset. So uh, a lot of lawsuits and disputes arise from owning rental property. So um, say here's your rental property and then you got other things like your personal residence, um, your bank accounts, couldn't draw a bank on the fly but that's a bank and your accounts are in them. Um, and basically all of your other assets. So uh, when you own a rental property in your name, um, the same name that you own all of these other assets, uh, essentially if there is a claim, lawsuit, something happens at your rental property, uh, slip and fall, um, environmental claims, Mm, Seattle we had a bunch of lead in the water maybe somebody commits a crime on the property um, that liability can come out and go after everything that's in your little personal name bubble um, and by that I mean lawsuits and judgments and lawsuits so if you end up owing somebody money um, Creditors can go after all of these assets that are in your name in order to pay that judgment. But do some basic planning ahead of time. If you put this rental property in some sort of protective entity like an LLC, that takes it out of your name and all these little claims get stuck here in the box uh, in your LLC for example and creditors from the liabilities or from any judgments from that they're not going to be able to get after your home bank accounts other assets that sort of thing so uh, that's why it's important to not own rental property uh, investment properties in your name uh, if you have any questions uh, let me know um, reach out to us or um, yeah there you go. That's all I got today. Um, take care. Bye.